Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a video on MW2's open beta, the RTX 3080. We're going to be starting off with 1080p on the lowest preset. And as always, I feel like we're using it. So I'll switch around the hyper as well. The game's running quite smooth. I should probably increase the FOV before we do, the, we do anything else though. Let's go ahead and actually increase the FOV. Almost forgot about that until now. Alright, now I'm using FOV of 110 instead of 90, I believe, was the default. Game looks quite good. It's so loud though, I gotta turn the volume down in a second. FPS is 180. Seems about the same as MW 2019. It's so okay, I gotta turn my volume down. Way too loud when you shoot guns. I don't know where anyone is either. Close. That's close. Oh my god, okay, this game feels good. Guns feel the guns feel very beefy. It's kinda Elf and dive, let's go. Play for a bit longer and I'll move up to. Didn't die. Either medium settings or 440p, depending on what the game lets me do. This AK slaps. It's kind of hard to see enemies after you shoot. There's a lot of smoke coming out of the gun. But. I couldn't see what I was shooting at. Alright. Let's go and push it up to 1440p. Gotta increase the overlay size. Alright, here we go. Now we're playing at 1440p. Lost a bit of FPS right there. We're playing at 120 now. Instead of 170, 180. Now, it looks like the game does look very good on low settings. Or on the lowest settings. This looks great. And at 40 p you just have more clarity, more than anything. A lot of hit markers with this gun. Go ahead, let's go ahead and get a flank going. Okay. Mantling bug that right there. Oof. Okay, second game. Playing at 440p. Different map. I think this is a museum, right? I can't. I forgot to actually look, but. Should probably disable voice chat. Um, yeah. Now, this game is far more demanding, it seems like, than MW 2019 or even Vanguard, I think. I can definitely hold 160 on a mix of medium to low settings. At 440p. This game does look way better. But FPS is also taking a it's taking a hit. Is that a guy? Whew. Nice. Oh I had one bullet. Oh my the timing on these. Now, I saw a lot of people complaining about the actual phone number requirement thing for Steam, but I was lucky enough to not have that issue. I just. My game just worked properly, and I didn't get any crashes either. There was a lot of posts about people crashing and not being able to play, but again, I didn't have any of those issues. Might have been just very lucky. Slot a hand, let's go. Let's not go, I'm dead. Getting 80 FPS. Had some dips into the 60s. Is that fake? That's not a fake guy. Yeah, we're getting kinda bad performance on 4K. 
Vera was sitting at 5.4 gigs. Yeah, it doesn't feel as fluid as or as smooth as 440p or 1080p at all. It feels quite worse, even though we only lost 30 40 FPS. We can use DLSS, of course. But we'll get to that, I guess. I like the game, but the game is quite good. The guns that I have kind of suck, though, it feels like. Uh oh. Let's go. Oof. That was kind of tough. He was waiting for me, he knew. Getting pulled the DLSS. Getting 110 FPS to 100 FPS. From 70 to 80 FPS. There's something wrong with the game where when you get hurt, it feels like a, a, like a square or like a rectangular box appears on the top left hand side of the screen. It's kind of distracting, but probably will get fixed, I would imagine. UAV saved us right there. Appreciate that, UAV. Alright, now playing at balance settings or medium settings. This is the settings the game gave us. And okay, looks good. Couldn't go down to 1080p. And run it again. Alright, playing the game on 1080p again. Game looks a bit more pixelated than before. But FPS is doing much better. We're sitting at 160 FPS compared to getting 80 FPS at 4K native. Someone here. Can't get like I gotta walk so they can't hear me. <laughs> Had UAV, I think they could, they could just saw me somehow. I will try and get the minimal and the recommended settings out tonight as well, as well as the 3060 Ti. And I'll do the Steam Deck tomorrow. Even though it's not supported, I will install Windows again and run it on that. See how well it does on the Steam Deck. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, medium settings at 440p. Game looks way better, way more clear. Getting 120 FPS, so. About the same as. No settings? I don't think there's much of a difference, to be honest, so far. The game definitely feels more intensive than the previous games, that's for sure, but at least it's not stuttering at all. What is this guy doing? No campus there, good to see, he's moved. Wow, a lot of hit markers from this gun. Yeah, I guess it is naked, so... Gotta get... You gotta get the good attachments on that. Okay. That hurt. Teammate, can you cover me? Come on, run in here, come on. No! I oh, love that corner. Wow. Okay, we take that. It's quite hard to rush around on this map. Look at that guy. Okay, nope. 2v1. I'm good. What a bunch of rats. Alright, playing at 4K. Getting 70 FPS. So we lost around 10 to 20 FPS from low from the lowest settings to medium. It's very feels very difficult to aim now. Very difficult to aim. And we're getting dips into the 50s when we're loading in. Last 
last stand. Wait, I get 25 points for killing him in last stand? It definitely feels way more. No way I spawned in front of him. <laughs> no way. Yeah, it definitely feels way more input laggy at 4K. Even at lower settings. It just doesn't feel good to aim. I'd probably avoid playing at 4K if you got a 3080. Maybe. Maybe it's that guy. Maybe a 3090 would do better. Or a TI, I guess. This M4 man is such a bullet sponge. Just. Does not do damage. Yeah, I think I got decent. That's decent. We'll take that. Balanced. The quality isn't as good. I don't know. It still looks quite good when you look up close, but when you compare it to native, it just doesn't look the same. Nice, that's. Wrong way, bud. You too. Oh, okay. Put the Glock out. No, I tried. Alright, let's go ahead and play at ultra settings. No DLSS. Alright, this is the ultra settings for the game. Uh, okay, looks good. Gonna go back down to 1080p. Playing at 1080p ultra settings. Getting 150 FPS. So quite good still. The game feels far more responsive than 4K. It feels way better at ADP. Wow, it feels good. At 440p, it felt quite good as well, obviously, but 4K was that's such a stupid bug. 4K just feels really bad, this card. Which is kind of shocking to say, because this is a 4K capable card. Pick me. No, there's two of them. No. Okay, fair enough. Call this in. What? Okay. <laughs> nice bug there. Double kill, we'll take that. Very nice. Good thing that wasn't for me. What is this guy doing? Oh, it's so hard to see anything. Get me out of here. No way, I killed you too. Come on now. Oh, and I do that. That's just disappointing. Getting 120 to 130 FPS, so not bad. It's honestly seemed quite intensive in the lowest settings just because we were only getting. Oh, great. Let's fix that again, seriously. Um, it felt quite intensive at the lowest settings because we're getting only like one. Bad aim. Like 170 FPS. 1080p and then like 150 FPS at 2040p, but honestly at ultra settings we're still able to hold above 120 for the most part. But if you're not playing at 4K, it's just going to be a good experience with this card. And you also have DLSS as well that you can use if you really want. But I will say this again, the game feels extremely fluid at 1080p and at 440p and 4k at 440p it feels... At 440p it's not as smooth but it's still definitely extremely good and at 4k it just feels very laggy or very input laggy. Alright, I'll play for one more life, it'll be two lives and then we can go ahead and play 4k ultra settings. Bad aim, that doesn't count. Now we're playing the game at 4k ultra settings. The UI is completely bugged out. I've got the X. I'm losing my voice. I've got the X of... Wow, it's so laggy. The X of the field... Uh, the field upgrade. I don't want to play too much of 4K native because it's going to run like crap. But I'll give it like one more life. One or two lives. And we'll try the LSS.
nice little inspect. Game feels very laggy, even though we're getting 60 FPS pretty much. It just doesn't. Seriously? This does not feel good at all playing like this. Let's just steal that flag, why not? Don't shoot me, man. Chill out. Okay, I'm done. I'm done playing with this. This is awful. Okay, where's DLSS? Teammates are just ignoring them, I guess. Uh, playing with balanced DLSS. We're getting 90 to... We're getting 80 to 90 FPS. So, like a 40 FPS increase. This is a quite a weird area to be in. Okay, so Q is your stun. And E is your... Lethal, I see, not bad. Catch that. Oof. Kinda wish I had a stim right now. This is the extreme preset for the game. And we're playing the game at 1080p right now. We're getting 120 FPS. We lost around 60 to 70 FPS from the lowest settings by playing at the extreme settings. The game doesn't feel as responsive as it did at Ultra and below. It feels a little bit less responsive. It doesn't feel too bad still, but it doesn't feel as good, obviously. Wow, VRM is at 9 gigabytes. So, in that 1080p, we're almost maxed that on the VRM side of things. This is a very VRM heavy game, especially if you want to play at those higher settings. So it's kind of interesting how the lowest and minimum requirements, I guess, is a GTX 960, which I think is a 2GB card. It can go up to 4GB as well, but I think most people will have a 2GB version of the card. Uh, so not waste too much time, let's go ahead and play at 1440p, extreme settings. Is the game already finished? Is that what happened? Okay, no it didn't. I don't know why the music was playing like that. Alright, now the actual responsiveness of 440p now feels like playing at 4K lowest settings. So, far worse than it would feel normally. So I kind of had me worried that I couldn't tell which way it was coming from. Hello. I'm gonna camp for a little bit. And listen. <laughs> you know what? Oh my god, this is so bad. I'm gonna try balance settings at 440p. Game honestly looks quite decent still. You can definitely tell they're using DLSS when you move around, that's for sure. I would probably avoid using DLSS at 440p since you're losing all the quality you gained with the extreme preset. So, the smart thing to do is to go ahead and play at a lower preset like high or ultra and get a better frame rate and a better. Responsiveness. Alright, 4K max settings. VRM is at 9.3 gigs. We gained around 300 megabytes. FS is at 40. No way I'm killing you guys. You guys gotta stop with that. It's <laughs> extremely hard. I don't know where that guy even was. Where was he? The UI is bugged out again as well. We got the perks appearing in the middle of the screen. FPS is falling into the mid 30s when you're actually getting to a gunfight. Yeah, I don't know about this. Probably gonna use the performance DLSS mode so you can get a decent frame rate. Alright, we're going to catch up. Alright, we're using performance DLSS. Game honestly looks quite good. We're getting some stuttering now though. We're definitely getting some stuttering. I'm so screwed. Throw it back, throw it back, E. Catch. Uh, I got a six. Yeah, that was a good use of my... Sixth round mag. It's honestly way better to just hold angles. Way better to just sit there and hold angles. Okay. I 
I tried, I tried. He had the first shot on me. Alright. That's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you found it useful, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you appreciate it as well. See you next time.